lot of people liked how I removed the power outlet from the front bezel radio area, but now want to see how to remove the other one in here. So, I'm going to show you how to remove the cigarette lighter or power outlet from the armrest on a Dodge Charger, Chrysler 300, Dodge Magnum, pretty much any Chrysler Dodge or Jeep vehicle. And the process is similar for many others. Let's start. Open up the armrest and you'll see the cigarette lighter or power outlet right here. If this isn't working, first check the fuse to make sure uh, you just have a blown fuse. Why do more unnecessary work? As many times it's usually just the fuse that's bad. However, if the fuse is not bad, then I'll show you how to remove this. These are all the tools you're going to need. A power drill with a Phillips screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver, pry bar, pliers, a pointed tip, a quarter inch ratchet wrench, with preferably with an extension, and an 8mm deep socket. You'll also need the outlet. I'll put all these tools and supplies in the description below for easy reference. If this video helps, please hit the like button and subscribe for more great car tips, hacks, and tricks, and ways for you to fix your car yourself completely for free. Let's get to it. First, there's a tray in this armrest. Just squeeze it and that is out. Next, grab a quarter inch ratchet wrench, with preferably with an extension, and an eight millimeter deep socket. And there's four bolts that need to be removed. Now that the screw bolts are removed, you can see the armrest and this count also moves up. But it's not yet free or accessible yet for the cigarette lighter. So next, the front bezel trim must be removed. Using either a trim stick or a flathead screwdriver, go ahead and pry around the center console trim and then lightly pull it out. Now look behind and pull out all the connectors that control the temperature control. Yours might have one or two more extra connectors. They are all unique and can't be mixed up when reinstalling later. Next, remove the flashers connector. By the way, I'm pushing on a tab and then pulling each connector out. Very easy. However, for some odd reason, this clock connector is hard to remove. So I'm going to use a flat tip and push on the connector and pull it out. You could also use a pliers instead if you want to. That's how you remove the bezel. Here are all the connectors. The radio doesn't have to be removed, but if you would like to see how to remove that, then I'll leave that interesting video in the description below. Now, at the bottom of this, you'll see the ashtray and the other cigarette lighter. Use a flat tip and pry this out on both sides and pull it out. Now, I'm not removing this power outlet. I have a different video you can watch on that to remove and reinstall just this. It's in the description if interested. However, this video is about the power outlet in the armrest. So let's continue and place this kind of to the side. Now you can pull this up and you can also pry this up with a pry bar or a flat tape screwdriver. This whole piece has snap connectors. This right here is the cup holder. Place this to the side temporarily because now you'll see a Phillips screw at each corner side. So quickly remove each one. Now, if you did not disconnect the cup holder, place it back here loosely. Grab from back here and pull it out and up. And pull it out. Now turn it on its side. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we can now see the power outlet. Let's reduce the tension on this entire center arm console and remove this connector. Now this entire unit is free and now we can get to the power outlet and its connector. I'm using a pointed tip to press on the tab as I pull out the power outlet connector. Now, this to me is the hardest part. It's really stuck in here good. So there is a groove, slit, or notch, which you can't really see on camera. Pretty much, you want to turn this into the notch. I'll probably tap on this, and going back inside the armrest, 
I'll gently pry this, making just a little bit of space. Now I can grab this and hopefully turn this counterclockwise and bring this into the armrest. Now, before I give one last tip and show you how to quickly reinstall this, please hit the like button and if this video helped and was straight to the point, please subscribe to this channel for the best ways to fix your car or truck without going to a steel ship. This is how the power outlet looks. And by the way, make sure you get this and not the other one, which is by the radio. They are different. This outlet always stays on when something is connected to it, while the other outlet only stays on when the car is turned on. As previously mentioned, I'll put both of the power outlets in the description below, as well as all the tools I use to get this job done. Anyway, I'll show you how to reinstall just the cigarette lighter, as everything else is the reverse. And mostly, just snaps into place, which is cool. So, line up the cigarette lighter with the indentation, and you might want to then turn it from the inside. Just make sure it's nice and tight, and can't wiggle out. Then put in all connectors and screws, and then either have a smoke break, or charge up your electronics. Thanks for watching, have a nice day or night, and check out the other helpful videos on this channel. See you later.